still on vacation, doing a couple of videos here from vacation. There might be some wind noise and some birds, maybe the occasional cow, but there won't be any humans because we're not anywhere near any humans. I hope that you can hear that. That's a kookaburra. I don't know because I have some noise canceling headphones and I'm not sure if they uh, blocked out that kookaburra. I hope not. Anyway, let's get on to a book. Uh, this one is Batman de Curl. This is, which means uh, uh, Heartbeats by Jean Denis Bredin, or Brodin. He is uh, a French writer, who, a well respected French writer who has, I've never read any of his work before. He's also a lawyer. This one is interesting. It's, uh, the back of it just tells something about the book itself. He's, he's written it in the first person. Each, each little piece is a sort of, a, well, it's a chapter, but it's a small bit about someone that he knew in life. Now, I'm not saying this is, this is a fiction book, but someone that the fictional character knew in life. And really, it doesn't follow on very much. That is to say, if you, you could even just sort of read bits and pieces. You could read this one, and then this one, and then this one. It is chronologically by the life of the protagonist. So this one is a much younger person, and then this is older and older and older. But other than that, there's not a whole lot that connects the two. The, the character himself, who is a lawyer, um, but it's really about these other people that he meets along the way. And in each case, it's something to do. I think you could say that there's a theme of love. Love in different ways, sometimes uh, quite grotesque ways, in fact. A murderer there who loved the person that he murdered, the person um, who he murdered and then kept around as a corpse for a while. Anyway, it's very interesting. I really liked almost all of it. There was one piece that I didn't love so much. I don't know. I've still got a bookmark in there, but I finished the book. Um, there's the very last one I didn't like as much as the other ones. But the other ones were all kind of good. There's a sense of melancholy, I would say, throughout. There isn't a ton of humor. There's some humor. But um, very interesting, interesting people throughout the book. So I don't, I don't think this has been translated into English. I'm not sure. But if you read French, this is kind of an interesting one. 